Hello Prep 1, today we will study the first lesson of Unit 3, it's about celestial bodies. There are many bodies found in the universe, such as stars, planets, moons. These bodies are called celestial bodies. All the celestial bodies are in a permanent motion according to the will of Allah. Okay, what the meaning of celestial bodies? They are bodies swim in space, such as stars, planets, moons, and rocky or gaseous bodies. When you look at the sky, you will see a huge number of bright bodies called stars. So, what the meaning of stars? They are big-sized bodies that emit heat and light. They appear small, although they are big-sized. That because they are millions of kilometers away from us. The distance between stars are very large. So, it measured by light year. What the meaning of light year? Light year, it is the distance covered by light in one year. And it equals 9.467 times radian kilometer. Here is an example on how to calculate the distance in light year. The solution of this example will be the distance in kilometer divided by 9.467 times trillion. Okay, the stars are found in groups called galaxies. Galaxies, they are the greatest units that form the universe. They are a tremendous collection of stars. They are a system that consists of thousands of millions of stars. The galaxy that our solar system belongs to is known as the Way of Chopped Hay Galaxy or the Milky Way Galaxy. Milky Way galaxy takes an oval shape, with coiled spiral arms extend from it. The sun lies on one of these spiral arms. To discover the celestial bodies, we must use telescopes. There is two types of telescopes, reflecting telescope Refracting Telescope The solar system consists of the Sun, planets, moons, asteroids, meteors, meteorites, comets. The Sun, it is the star of our solar system. It is the biggest body in the solar system. It lies in the center of the solar system and the other bodies of the solar system revolve around it. Our solar system is one of over 500 known solar systems in the entire Milky Way galaxy. The solar system came into being about 4.5 billion years ago when a cloud of interstellar gas and dust collapsed, resulting in a solar nebula, a swirling disk of material that collided to form the solar system. 
The solar system is located in the Milky Way's Orion star cluster. Only 15% of stars in the galaxy host planetary systems, and one of those stars is our own Sun. Revolving around the Sun are eight planets. The planets are divided into two categories based on their composition, terrestrial and Jovian. Terrestrial planets, including Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars, are primarily made of rocky material. Their surfaces are solid, they don't have ring systems, they have very few or no moons, and they are relatively small. The smallest and closest to the Sun is Mercury, which has the shortest orbit in the solar system at about three Earth months. Venus is the hottest planet, with temperatures of up to 867 degrees Fahrenheit due to an atmosphere of carbon dioxide and extensive lava flows. Next to this world of fire is a world of water, Earth. The water systems on this planet help create the only known environment in the universe capable of sustaining life. The last of the terrestrial planets, Mars, might have also supported life about 3.7 billion years ago when the planet had a watery surface and moist atmosphere. Beyond the four terrestrial planets of the inner solar system lie the Jovian planets of the outer solar system. The Jovian planets include gas giants Jupiter and Saturn and ice giants Uranus and Neptune. The gas giants are predominantly made of helium and hydrogen, and the ice giants also contain rock, ice, and a liquid mixture of water, methane, and ammonia. All four Jovian planets have multiple moons, sport ring systems, have no solid surface, and are immense. The largest Jovian is also the largest planet in the solar system, Jupiter. Nearby is Saturn, the solar system's second largest planet. Its signature rings are wide enough to fit between Earth and the Moon, but are barely a kilometer thick. Past Saturn are the ice giants Uranus and Neptune. The slightly bigger of these ice giants, Uranus, is famous for rotating on its side. Next to Uranus is Neptune, the outermost planet in the solar system and also one of the coldest. Orbiting the terrestrial planets is the asteroid belt, a flat disk of rocky objects full of remnants The difference of gravity acceleration on the surfaces of the planets. You know that the scientist is Hawk Newton was the first one who discovered the Earth gravity force when he was standing under a tree and he found an apple falling down to the ground. So the force of gravity depends on the mass of each object and the mass of each object are directly proportional and the distance between them is inversely proportional. So the force of gravity differs from a planet to another according to the difference in its mass where the gravity of the planet increases by increasing it, uh, its mass and vice versa. Moons. They are followers, small space bodies that are affected by the gravity of the planets that rotate around them, as in case of our moon, which is the follower of the Earth. So each planet have number of moons. Mercury and Venus, no moon. Earth, one moon. Mars, two moons. Jupiter, 62 moons. Saturn, 60 moons. Uranus, 27 moons. Neptune, 12 moons. Asteroids, they are rocky space bodies of different sizes. Most of them rotate in a region of the belt of wanderer asteroids. The belt of the wanderer asteroids, it is a region that separates the group of the inner planets from the group of the outer planets. Okay, what the meaning of meteors? They are small rocky masses that burn up completely when fall within the atmosphere of the Earth as a result of the heat produced from their refraction with air, and they can be seen as luminous arrows by the naked eye. 
meteorites. They are large rocky masses that do not burn up completely when they penetrate the atmosphere of the earth and the remaining part of them without burning falls on the earth's surface. Comets. They are masses of rocks, ice and solidified gases that revolve around the sun in more illuminated orbits. Okay, the comet consists of two parts, which are the head, it is the first part of the comet and it contains icy spheres, and the tail, it is the second part of the comet and it is considered a gaseous cloud.